The Wisconsin Assembly has passed a bill blocking law enforcement from enforcing federal gun laws here in our state. CBS 58's Mark Stevens joins us live outside the federal courthouse. And Mark, it sounds like gun advocates are happy with this bill. Yeah, gun advocates say federal gun laws are both confusing and redundant. They also say the Second Amendment is absolute. But gun safety advocates say this bill is dangerous. It's a really good thing. It's a positive step. It shows that, the, uh, that there are some politicians, at least at the state level, that are... Uh, that have an interest in the, in the gun rights battle. Shooting instructor Adam Campbell could talk all day about the federal firearms laws he thinks are unnecessarily complex and redundant. At the federal level, they're concerned with the rights of millions of gun owners. He's passionate about guns and says lawmakers only ever make more gun laws. Very rare, very, very rare for rules to be rolled back. Wisconsin Republicans say they're protecting gun owners' Second Amendment rights, but Democrats argue the bill leaves police in the lurch. The senior lawyer for the Giffords Law Center to Prevent Gun Violence agrees. A law enforcement officer may feel that they cannot take a gun away from a felon in possession of a firearm for fear that they may be criminally prosecuted for doing their job. Wisconsin's bill makes it a misdemeanor for someone to enforce federal gun law, unless the state has a matching one. But Anderman says Wisconsin's bill is bad policy and unconstitutional. It encourages people in a state to wrongly assume that they will not be prosecuted under federal law for gun crimes. Now, if the Wisconsin Senate were to pass the bill, it's unlikely that Governor Tony Evers would sign it into law. And similar laws have been struck down by federal judges for violating the Constitution's Supremacy Clause, which says that federal law trumps state. Live in Milwaukee, Mark Stevens, CBS 58 News.